um, little camera quick, um, quick there. Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to make a gimlet to go with our little bit of photography fun. Okay, so let's set our drink side here. So we want to take a ice cube inside the glass, let it get cool. Ice cube in here. Got our the botanist gin from um, this Isley Dry Gin. It's from the um, island island of Isley. A lot of scotch comes from there, so it's uh, got an interesting taste. We'll open this up. Got the big side of the jigger. Pour that in. Take your lime. Pour it on the, on the small side. Pour that in. Now, I like to give it just a little bit more, a little simple syrup. A half. And then a couple. I've been trying out with these chocolate bitters. The last few I've made, they've turned out pretty good. Just a couple of drops of that. Shake it on. I'm not the best at this part of it. Break that open. Get your strainer. Yeah, see? Perfect amount. Little round, little round um, ice cube, and you're done. And we'll sit. We'll take this over to the table and talk about putting batteries in our Yashica GSN camera. All right, I'll see you there. Okay, so today we will be putting a battery into this Yashica Rangefinder camera. Um, this particular model is an Electro 35, Model G. There's a GSN and a GSX for other models. I think the biggest difference between the three is your manufacturer. Um, the maximum F, or min, you know, F 1.7, I guess minimum F, smallest F number. On this one, it's 1.7. I think maybe on some of the others it might be a 2.0 I could be wrong about that so you know just you know rag on me in the comments if I am but there is a definitely another difference this particular one the light meter is here and on one of the others I can't remember which one maybe the GSX the light meter is actually built into the lens and the positive is built is right, right here and the positive of that is is when you put a filter on you get automatic you know, exposure compensation because it's reading through the filter. On mine, I I have to, you know, expose, I have to compensate by changing the f-stops and that kind of thing, but of course it won't let me because it uh, this is like aperture priority. Anyway, so, you know, I can do a little bit of adjustment by changing the ISO of the film and that's really kind of it as far as adjustments go. But we're not here to talk about that today. Let's talk about putting batteries in these cameras. So we've got two batteries. Uh, this one that has the right um, diameter and the right voltage, three volts, that I got from Amazon. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description. There's no uh, affiliate links or anything like that. I'll just put a link to the thing and you can decide what you want to do on your own. Um, and then there's this one that I ordered from yashikaguy.com where he's made a, um, he's taken a piece of tubing and he's made this part that goes in the tubing to kind of extend the battery. So the inside diameter that holds the battery, this outside diameter is the size of the battery compartment. And then this makes it longer to fit in the compartment better. And you'll see why when we go to put them in. 
So I'm going to put in the Amazon one first. And we'll take it out. Normally a quarter works better, but I, all I could find was a dime. I haven't been out in a while. I'll do my best to get this out here. Like such thin threads. <laughs> you know, to be such a short thing is so now something to kind of keep in mind when you get these um, your battery cover normally has a sticker in the middle because the old batteries the mercury batteries actually make content contact on the outside edge but the new batteries are make contact in the middle so you have to take that sticker off when you put one in um, this is kind of like a thing to know now this particular camera is like, I don't know if it's ever even had a battery in it. It's hard to imagine that it has because it's so clean on the, in the battery compartment. Um, put the battery in and you'll notice see, it doesn't stick up very high. And that's because the spring is kind of weak and the weight of the battery is pushing the spring down. Um, so we'll put the the, lip, the thing on here and you'll this kind of becomes a problem in a moment you'll see okay so I've got it on I don't want to over tighten it just because so I've got the battery in it's right right orientation we push the battery check light and see it doesn't come on and that's because it's not really making good contact because of the length of the battery um, Yikes, that was loud. Um, it's possible, you know, that you could put maybe a spacer in made of copper or something like that. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like another fiddly bit to go wrong. So um, you could stretch your spring. I guess you could, you know, reach in there with a pair of needle nose pliers and pull the spring up some to make it taller. Again, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. So put that side. This is why I like this this particular one here. These batteries are like four or five dollars. I think I bought a pack of ten for maybe twelve dollars or something like that because they're the same kind of battery that's used in a type of dog collar that has like a GPS transmitter in it and that kind of thing. So they're pretty easy to come by. Is all I'm saying. Uh, so put the battery in and have a drink here. Take a sip of my drink. Man, that's a good gimmick. And you'll notice that this one sticks proud of the base. So that means that when you put your lid on, and because it sticks proud, it's harder to put the lid on. But when you put the lid on, you kind of guarantee contact between the positive and negative um, poles on the battery. So put that in and push the button. I hope you can see this on camera, but see notice it comes on. So let me get it up closer. So the battery check. Well, there we go. If I can push the button in and see the battery check light comes on, meaning the battery's making good contact. I've never actually taken photos of this camera. Just bought it over the um, holidays, um, thinking that when it warmed up, I'd go out and shoot some pictures with it. But I'll, I've had many of these in the past. I just love these cameras. So there you go. That's how to put a battery in a Yashica Rangefinder camera, Electro 35 model. I hope and make a good gimlet. 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 <laughs> make a good gimlet to drink because this is an excellent, excellent drink. I must admit. But I say so myself. Um, I would if you liked the video press the like button if you didn't press the, press the dislike button and call me names in the comments who cares and appreciate it if you subscribed that would be nice get my subscriber numbers up above 10 so <laughs> um, but once again thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and bye for now